I think it's a very British culture to not talk about how to run a business. You're almost expected to know how to run a business. Um, most people don't. Um, you don't study it at school. You don't tend to study it at university. So how you're supposed to know how to run a business is, is a bit of guesswork. And so why, why have guesswork? Why don't you bring someone in who actually knows all the different aspects of how you run a business and guide you and help guide you? Because you'll save an awful lot of time and an awful lot of money by going down that route. I think it's um, something that every business owner perhaps has, is that you start a business and you don't really ever get any full guidance as to how to run a business. You might be very good at your job and have lots of ideas about what you want to do with business, but um, having an idea of how you do it is, is quite difficult. I think that, yeah, you, I think you don't realise what you can do with the business because you're trying to run lots of different things. And I think what Alan has done is ordered some of those priorities so that you can either delegate tasks to other people and to other consultants or um, manage your time in a better way and manage your uh, priorities in a better way. So yeah, it's, it, it just sort of clears your mind in order to focus on the important aspects of what the business needs to do. I think it was the idea of getting an objective view on the business. Um, it's very, you can always speak to people in the business about ideas and that's great. Um, I could speak to my wife and family about it and, and that's all helpful but I think having an objective view um, on a weekly basis sort of a touch point every week that goes right what are we talking about how do we take this forward I think that that's the bit that really got to me going well actually that that would be helpful because it's going back to what I said earlier on it's the having that input that you haven't perhaps had in, in education terms is really helpful. I think it's all those things I had in my head um, but I'd never really written down, I'd never focused them down properly or sort of distilled them down properly and so yeah having a vision, mission and a set of values I had and we operated under but they weren't really written on a piece of paper and so you couldn't tell anyone what they were so I think that's really focused in on how we deliver ourselves as a business. And I think again when you've got your own business you don't have a boss do you? Um, and so I suppose having someone that sort of sits above you in the nicest possible way um, can kind of you know is that guiding light that kind of just helps you focus on what my objectives are much the same as the guys in my studio, I help them in guiding what they're going to be doing in terms of their careers and their day-to-day -day work. Um, it's having someone to do that for me. For me. And actually, doing, it's something that's not really spoken about. It's not really part of our culture to have people like that and um, doing that. And so, so Alan coming in to help with that is really, really good. There were some fundamental changes in the way we were working within, a, you know, within immediately within the first few weeks. Um, I think business-wise it really started to change after six months when we were really focusing on what we were trying to do, focusing on why we were doing it and that then helped in our communicating to potential clients and existing clients which then enabled us to grow and gain more work and grow as a, as a group then. I think particularly we, we started the civil engineering um, sector of the business last year. Um, I think we'd probably still be looking at doing that if Alan hadn't been helping and I think that says it all. I think having him there to guide and motivate and kind of implement plans has been really useful because we've gone from thinking about an idea that has a lot of potential to actually doing an idea that is now in full operation and growing so say so that's you know a huge um, success really it's really an important part of now of how we portray ourselves as a business um, so it's not a separate small entity it, it's the kind of collective whole um, over that period of time um, we've gone from four employees I think we were at the time, we're now nine um, and correspondingly our turnover and um, profit has increased significantly on that basis and I think it's, yeah, it's probably double what we were previously, um, it's there or thereabouts um, and that's, you know, it's huge for us um, so it's really, you know, it's really satisfying, you know, it's really exciting to see where we can go in the future um, and we've got lots of other ideas that Alan will hopefully help her with our implementation of.